Oh my God, this is beautiful. Hi, I'm Lindsay, I'm 31 years old, and I quit my job, sold my car, moved out of my apartment, and I traveled all the way around the world. I was wrapping up my job, and I had been kind of watching my friends who were anchoring into their jobs and getting promotions, and it didn't seem to me that they were any more happy, and I didn't know what I wanted to do next, but I knew I wanted to travel and maybe start the path to finding what would make me happy. I am in love with Lao. My friends already had their package, like right, right out of college. They like had their little boyfriend and their job that they loved and everything, you know, and I'm like, that's awesome. But like, I didn't have that yet. And I really, I wasn't unhappy by any means, but I didn't have this little reason to stay. I had every reason to go. I just wanted to get out there and see what I would find. I was really curious and I guess I just really wanted an adventure. If you've ever wanted to feel like a princess or a knight, you have to spend time in Prague. My trip was very unplanned. Basically, I would wake up every day and it was whatever I wanted to do. It was like living in my own choose your own adventure book. Like we're in Jumanji. Or maybe like Jurassic Park. <laughs> like a Velociraptor. <laughs> you gonna jump out. I kind of figured I would just get whatever I needed to get when I was there. Basically every continent that I went to, I bought new clothes. The only thing that I kept the entire time actually was a pair of jeans that I wore, that I had started my trip in Alaska and I wore it all the way around the world and I ended up picking up a patch from her that I went and I put them on the jeans. Traveling by yourself to some people maybe would get lonely, but I never did. Actually, if anything, I craved alone time, and there were times where I was like, I just want to go to a temple by myself. I wound up having friends in almost every place that I went. I met a guy named Ryan on a previous trip, and then we met up again in Vietnam. We wound up traveling together for almost three months, and it was really fun. It was awesome to have an adventure buddy and to share experiences with someone and someone to hang out with. We ended up traveling through Southeast Asia together, and then he went to Australia and I went to India with the full intention of kind of rekindling and dating again uh, when we both got back to California. But when it came down to it, sometimes things are just better left abroad. You always have to kind of deal with the fact that there's a segment of the population that will want to scam you. You eventually start feeling like an ATM machine. It can get really, really exhausting. Coming home's pretty weird because people like to ask you, like, how was your trip and what did you do? And it was hard to answer anything more than just being like, it was good. Because really, no matter what you say, you can't really do it justice. Even just getting into, like, the few details, like, you're leaving out so much that there's nothing you can say to really have anyone understand. If I was to recommend something to someone who wanted to travel is to not plan and to go with the flow. If you kind of can just go off like the guidebook and just kind of figure out things as you go, you end up having a much better experience. This is the best decision that I didn't ever make because I didn't make this decision, I just kind of fell into it. <laughs> Every little clue along the way brings you to somewhere cooler when you just talk to other people. Drinking beer on a paddle boat in the middle of a river in Prague. It was the most amazing, rewarding, and crazy adventure that I've ever had and more than I would have ever imagined.